Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to remap these input keys. We are using enhanced input system and so when I click here for example let me try jump uh, and when I click here we get press any key and let's say I press J. So now J is assigned to jump and here let me press Q so this uh, I don't want to change those things actually just for testing so now if I go back back quit the game now the game is quit uh, closed if I play again and go here to controls see those changes are still there jump is J move left is A so remapping is working so so this is not the final state of the system uh, we are going to work on reset apply and restoring the order as well but in this episode we're just gonna figure out how to remap an input binding in the enhanced input system uh, yeah that's the only thing we are going to work on today through this controls option menu so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits. And here is the full playlist. You can watch these episodes and implement everything by yourself. All right, now let's get back to today's episode. All right. So this is what we have at the moment when I play and go to controls. I see this uh, move forward, backward, all those things, but I don't really have a way to remap them. So that's what we want to do now. So to do that, yeah, let me open my control options. So this is the control options panel. And here we are using this sub widget called option key, which contains the input name and the key. Right, so here, first thing is, uh, what I want to do is when I click on this key, this should be changed. Let me explain it here. When I click on this key, this should be changed to press any key so that when I press some key in the keyboard, or wherever uh, that key will be assigned to this here and that's not enough it's just only visual but also we need to register or remap then this new key with the enhanced input system so that's basically what we are going to do here okay so to do that here this is a button therefore this does have this on click the event let me use it and i get on clicked here on the button wvp button we can get ct key name so this is a common text which contains the key name i'll change this to change the text here set text that text to press any key yeah press any key oh wait this one press any key okay now we need to listen to any key that we are going to press so for that we can override this on key down event so this will through this key event we can get key so we can get what is the key that we have pressed now but if we are focused on this widget this will be executing always 
I don't need that. So therefore, I'll add a boolean here. This name dot keys. Let's name to key events. Okay. So by default, it's false. Here, I'll set that to true. Okay. Now, if that is true here. Get this to branch. If you are listening, I'll get the key and get the key button and update key. Yes, in this and also I'll set. I'll set this set listening to key false so that we will be no longer listening here to avoid this warning make comment reply right now let's see so this does not do anything into the input bindings it's just only visual at this stage yeah see press any key if i press t it's changed to t but if i stop the game and play again that will not be changed see it's still w now how do we save that binding for that yeah uh, we show you in here we Use this and must input local player subsystem and get in as to input user settings. Here, uh, remap no. map player key. We can use this. So, here we need to pass this args. If I make you see, I need mapping name, slot, new key, all those things. So, anyway, this is this would be the function that we need to use. So, here in the option key, let's create an event dispatcher on key changed dispatch. And as an input, I'll pass the input name. and new key it's a key structure key. new key all right and i'll call it here call on key changed dispatch so input name i don't keep that in a separate variable but this text would contain the input name. So get text. Actually, this is a text. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I get the key and the name. Where do I say this? Here. Yeah. Input name. Oh, I already have that. Okay, nice. But it's a text. So, okay. Name. Oh, come on, this. Okay, here we have a string to name. Let's try this. Let's see if it works. If not, we can actually create a variable using the name and we can pass it here we already have the name but yeah let's hope this would work if not we can change it all right now here we have this dispatch oh we need to pass the key as well which is this one and maybe 
be do we need to update this yeah let's do that too Yeah. Oh, we don't need to do that. Sorry. Oh no, it's in the key button, not here. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, new key, input name. Actually, this is not input name. This is called mapping name. Okay. Fresh. All right, now mm -hmm. let's go here. When we create this, that means here, I'll be out node point to on what's the dispatch name I just created? On key change dispatch point event to on key changed dispatch. Now here create event and create. A matching function okay. now this is the created function uh, let's call it update key mapping and this is what I need to do get the enhance input locals player subsystem and get enhanced input user settings so let's do that enhanced input not that not that there are two of those things yeah this one it doesn't have a input pin okay now from here so set in enhanced input user settings and change mapping map layer key okay so here this is what we need to do but we have the mapping name and the new key so if i make this we need some other parameters as well so from this we can uh, get active key profile and Get player mapping rows here. We can find using mapping name. This name we can find the row relevant row. If the if that is found, we can update it. So here, let me break this and get the first one. Okay. So this would be important in case you have multiple mappings for the same input. But right now, I just want to make it work for the simplest um, where possible. So, mapping name. 
this and slot the slot RDRS ID I'll leave it as whatever it is right now and the new key here this device ID is the structure plate away split or break oh we can get device identifier okay profile id let's just use only these things and see if it works to see if we reach here no actually we would need to save this as well So there is apply apply settings then save settings do it this way all right so shall we check if it works rolls let me set a queue top that is controls see it's queue so it worked it saved so the input is actually updated remapped and it is saving already if you want to test jump let me set to j and stop the game play again control jump is j the order is changed but maybe that's because um things are updated so but anyway the key is changed key is already here so now you may have you you see that apply or reset or anything is not in working right now but let's look into that in the next episode so that now we know how to remap keys all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye